So, what's up, y'all? Um, went back and forth whether or not to make a video. I put a post up last night about this. Um, you know, this is one of those times where you remember where you were and what you were doing when you heard the news. Um, I was at home, about to go get something to eat, got a notification on my phone, and um, notification said that WWE star Wyndham Rotunda, known as Bray Wyatt, dies at 36 couldn't believe it was like what um it, it literally just took my breath away i couldn't believe what i was seeing so i went online did some research um went on twitter um and there it was yeah Wyndham rotunda better known as Bray Wyatt, uh, unexpectedly passed. Uh, there were some reports circulating that he unexpectedly contracted COVID, um, which exacerbated a heart issue he was having, which ended up causing him to pass away. Um, that's what the, what, what's being reported. Um, don't know if it's true or not. Don't really care. Uh, fact of the matter is, is that uh, he unexpectedly has passed and um, a lot of people are heartbroken. Um, I was sad, you know. I feel, I feel sad because he has. I think he has f like four kids. Um, his his lady JoJo, who was formerly a ring announcer in WWE. Um, now she has to have the conversation of where is daddy when she's asked because she's going to be asked i remember having to have that converse had to have that conversation with my son a few years ago when his granddad passed away who he loved very much uh, i had to let him know that you know you know papa is you know passed away you know and um i can't even imagine having to have that conversation about their father and so uh, just prayers for them. Um, you know, I know Brody Lee passed a few years ago. And, you know, seeing reports all morning about he and Bray reunited and everything else. And, um, you know, it's just sad, man. Um, he was 36. I mean, here we are waiting for the return of Bray Wyatt. Is he going to come back as a fiend or whatever? And then you get this news that know he's unexpectedly passed and so um you know for me it's just incredibly incredibly sad um to everybody who knew him to everybody that was close to him to everybody that interacted with him uh you never heard a bad word about him you know all these all people kept saying is that you know he had an energy about him positive energy um extremely creative you know very few people have the ability to be great in the ring as well as on the mic. Uh, Wyndham was one of those rares who was great with both. Um, sometimes you have somebody who's great on the mic but okay in the ring. Someone who's great in the ring but they, you know, lacking some mic skills. And some people don't have either. Bray had both, you know. And so my heart breaks for his family, um, his wife children you know having to grow up without their father i'm sure they'll have a whole lot of support around them you know um it's never easy i mean we just got the news a few days ago that terry funk passed away um which was also sad my heart goes out to his family you know um remember Bray's or uh, wyndham's father mike rotunda when he was in w w well nwa then it became wcw he was with Dr. Death, Steve Williams, Kevin Sullivan. Um, then he came to WWE as IRS, um, where, you know, that became his claim to fame, if you will. And so, just sad, man. You know, um, no man knows the day or time. No man knows the day or time. You know, um, all of us, at some point or another, will have to stick our swords in the proverbial sands of time and Step out of this life, uh, step out of time and into eternity. Um, you know, I've chosen Christ. 
Christ Jesus as my pathway. And I'm encouraged to know that uh, he said, whoever believeth on me has passed from death to life. I don't know what Wyndham's relationship with God was. Um, I, I pray he had one. Um, but it's just incredibly sad and heartbreaking to hear that for my heart. I mean, I'm just... I know his. I know his dad is is heartbroken. Um, his family. I just feel so bad for his children. You know, like pray for Jojo. You know, she needs strength in this time. Can't imagine what she's going through. Um, and so my heart just it goes out to them, man. The whole Rotunda family, friends, people who knew him or close to him. You know, he was like a brother to a lot of people. You know, Braun Strowman talked about him. Um, you know, Eric Rowan, I know he is heartbroken right now, and a lot of folks are just in shock. Uh, apparently, WWE has paused a lot of their day-to-day -day activities. I think tonight is going to be uh, pretty similar to the episode that we had with Eddie Guerrero, and he passed away. Um, a lot of the storyline stuff, it doesn't matter right now, man. Nobody's feeling it. You know, we just want to celebrate Bray and the mass, uh, the, the artistry that he represented, the creativity that he had um, is going to be put on celebration. And, you know, I'm just going to choose to remember how he lived. You know, I never met Bray or Wyndham, you know, seemed like a cool, real cool guy from a distance, was always nice from what I saw with his interaction with the fans, with the public. Uh, and people loved him, man. And. You know, so my heart goes out to everybody out there who uh, was close to him and knew him. You know, prayers up for you. All right. Um, see you guys later. Peace.